Hello everyone, and welcome back to Prestige Reef. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that this weekend I've been out shopping. Therefore I thought I'd do a brief midweek update on one of my new purchases, which was this starfish. Ornamental starfish are often very desirable, but also very delicate creatures, so I thought I'd create a video on how to acclimate them. If you haven't kept a starfish before, I strongly recommend starting with a serpent starfish, as these will form a great part of your cleanup crew, can be easily fed, and are slightly more tolerant to tank life than many other species. These invertebrates need to be acclimated very slowly by dripping water from the main tank into a separate container. To do this, I use an airline tube with two knots in it. This allows me to adjust the flow by tightening the knots. This should be carried out over two hours, as these are far more sensitive than most of our other livestock. There is a risk though when acclimating anything over such a long period of time, and it's that the small volume of water can quickly get too cold. To combat this, I like to place the acclimation container in a larger container filled with warm water, and then continue to replace that warm water as and when required. When selecting a starfish, only purchase one which doesn't have any visual sign of damage, no matter how minor, and it's important to check that its tube feet are very active as shown here. This is a sign of good health. Once acclimation is complete, simply lift it out of the water and place it onto your rockwork in the tank. It's a common misconception that starfish can't be exposed to the air. Removing them from the water for a short period of time doesn't cause any negative side effects. It is in fact sponges which shouldn't be removed from the water. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people that support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.